this is Rashid and today I'm going to show you how you can use IBE software actually this name is CNC cut but it is also name a uh, company name the software is IBE software so this is the CNC cut software this software is basically is used for laser cutting water jet cutting plasma cutting or flame cutting okay so what you have to do first you will uh, first I am going to open the AutoCAD file so because uh, when I have opened the AutoCAD file uh, then I have to save this file in DXF file after that I can use that file the DXF file in my software so first I am going to save this file this diagram in a DXF okay hold on a second please so this is my uh, diagram and I am going to save this file uh, as a DXF file on my desktop so go file and save as uh, yeah I'm, I'm saving I'm going to save this file on my desktop so just change files of type over here you have to change to, uh, to DXF okay now I have to do save so already I have saved on my desktop this is my DXF file now what you have to do I will open my CNC cut software this is the software I am going to open it it, it is um, okay so there this is the CNC cut software and uh, that software name is IBE so this is my new job so I'm going I'm going inside the new job after that over here you can see there is a material thickness width height speed offset this is all data for the your material okay so uh, whatever you want to change over here I have say done so many things so let it be uh, whatever you want to change over here you just do the new database entry you can write anything what you want after that you can write the thickness of the materi material this width and height this is important you know um, this width and height is for if you 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 want to if you want your bay plate is an horizontally so I have give this one two two five two four zero the length and breadth huh if you want vertical you can change over here so you can adjust whatever you want so this width and height I have to give it will make the design of the plate if you want to work it vertical or horizontal you can change if I put this two four five zero over here then it will change the design whatever uh, then this is the speed this height after that you have to do give enter okay when you give enter this will come over here after first then then it will start from here okay I have selected this for this I, I have selected this is then you have to do forward this software is very actually very easy yeah uh, you just select forward select forward whatever you want to change forward then it will completely complete your program what you want to do okay so I have selected this is I am going to do forward now I have to I, am, I have to load the DXF file this is the page which as I have which is it is open when I do press the forward button now I am going to load the DXF file this is my DXF file huh this is my DXF file now I have to put the lead in and out so what I have to do uh, this page is completed now I actually this page is for only to load load the DXF file then I am uh, then I will go forward so it is loaded huh? now it's uh, on this page it is showing how it will cut uh, where is uh, this is the actually the we can call this is the simulation page okay so how it will cut this will show you okay. now for before this is I want to show you something see when I go back this is the you know this is the leaf this all diagram for the lead in and out now I uh, now I want to show you the first okay this is for this lead in and out is for outside of the triangle square whatever it is except circle this is n this if you change anything it will not change on circle circle for this is this two is for the circle okay so if you want to change the radius let I want to ch whatever you want to change the radius or you want to change the length of the lead I'm talking about this is uh, the I if you want to change the lead inside lead outside uh, or radius thi let this is over here if you want to change this is over here then you have to do what you have to do you just change the radius let I have given 10 now you can see and you have to after whatever you will change you just press the enter see now it is changed it will come close at the line but I I don't know uh, I just I want to do separate because if it's too close then it is problem with the material so I again it is changed you have to press every time enter so whatever it is if you want to if you want that I don't want lead out you just click over here the lead out will go see the lead out will go 
same if you want if you want no no i want lead out so it will come again over here so this is the lead in and out for in outside of the triangle same this is lead in and out outside uh, inside of the triangle or square ex every shape except circle again this is lead in and out uh, inside of the circle hmm? uh, over here you can change the radius length every a uh, whatever you want and this is uh, same lead in and out but inside of the circle that is outside of the circle this is inside of the circle over here you are seeing lots of things but you don't have to do anything you just change the number radius whatever you want you just change the number and enter you just change the length uh, num length you want any length more length less length just you change the number and enter L same for the lead out also oh sorry lead out also this is this is a uh, what is happen actually if you uh, click over here you don't want lead out just click over here if you want lead out just click over here if you don't want lead in just click over here you don't if you want lead in you just click over same everywhere you can change over here 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 also okay this page is completed let i want to i want my lead i want to change the position of my lead so over here you can from here you can change the position of the lead you just click right click one time and then left click it was written see left click the new lead just click left click and you can change the lead out it uh, lead e in lead in position okay over here i just i'm taking i'm selecting this uh, this is the position my position okay ah uh, you can do one thing whenever you change after completing your change the lead in position then you just do cross okay now now you want to now I want to show you the simulation see this is the simulation you just click over here this is the simulation it's showing how it's coming lead in and how it's coming lead out uh, be on the simulation on the simulation time you can speed increase and decrease the speed also this is the speed increasing this is the decreasing the speed how much you want to want to see the simulation okay you if you want to see the whole triangle simulation see i am going to show you i am increasing the speeds so it will be faster okay so this is complete let the lead and lead out for uh, everything it is complete then what you have to do again you have to do forward i have done the forward this page is basically show you how many parts will come on your plate okay uh, what was the difference between each plate so i am just showing you let over here let over here on this there is two button the over one button this it will show you how many parts you want let i want only one one part just take right one and enter it will come one part you ah, i want to show you something also if you want to see this page in a zoom you just do right click on the page it will come zoom okay L now i am going back i just want uh, let i want 100 piece tick okay now again i have done enter I can right click on the page and yeah, I can zoom and check. Okay, again going back. Let you don't know how many parts it will come on this plate. You just it is very simple. You just press on this button. It will show you the 119 piece can or come on, on this whole plate. If you want to know the rows, you just click on this is 17 piece. It's 17 roses. If you want to know the column, you just click in this is so for 17 column. So this is uh, the this is for your parts this button and this button is show you now uh, i'm going to show you okay this page is over let this is i'm going to again you can simulate over here also this is going like this is again or start from here again start from here again it will go at the end but if you if you think no i just you do you want to change the design of the cutting you want uh, you want the uh, this see it is selected like this is uh, from horizontal again it will come over horizontal but if you want no i want vertical like this is vertical like this let i have selected this is now you can see this is this will go up vertical again it will come down over uh, the vertical again it will come down like this so you can change as your wish what you want i am changing this is this is better for me that's why okay so you can change the horizon uh, vertical up down vertical up down horizontal up down and this 5.0 is showing you the difference the distance the distance between the parts parts to parts or distance between the starting position or ending position 
5.0 you can change over here also after that if you complete all this thing whatever it is uh, this is this is R and you can check the simulation okay all the simulation you can increase the speed also okay uh, if it is all complete complete then you again you have to do what you have to do forward now this is the last page of this program this is over here you can see again the simulation so how is it cutting I am increasing the speed see how is it cutting how it is not it is good or not okay you can it means it is the software is showing you it's very simple in every time it is showing you the simulation that you can confirm it is good or not okay now I am cr crossing cross this is because it will too late okay over here this is the last huh? and you don't have to do anything again you are just I am giving the program number program number program name I think so <laughs> not program number okay and you have to do forward after doing the forward this see it's showing the NC program is creating and it is save on a job job list CNC program was saved to the job list over here when you press the OK you will get the job list so this is my program I have created now what you have to do you have to, to uh, change this program in a CNC copy because you want to copy this is in a laser cutting machine uh, I actually I want to say you want to load this all program you know laser cutting water jet cutting plasma or uh, flame cutting it is uh -huh. so what you have to do you just do the CNC copy and I want to save this is on my desktop so I am doing the save now I minimize this is this is the program I have created see now uh, you just copy this is in your USB or in your pen drive whatever and you just put a uh, load this program on your machine it will work okay friend thank you for watching thank you for the watching